Welcome back. It is now time for Hello, Mr. President, a segment that focuses solely on you and issues you're facing within your community. Again, if you have any problems, terrible roads, bad schools, inadequate hospitals, just take out your phone and record an up to one minute video. Send that video to us via the email hello mr president tv at gmail.com you can also whatsapp that video to us via the whatsapp line 0550-585832 and every wednesday at 9 30 we will show it right here on breakfast daily and call on to policymakers to make your life a little bit better we'll now take a look at the videos we received this week Your man in Jamal Flair say a car by Quamano or careful no more hunty. Your man named your mayor, Moduma. Your bar and soon name easy. Said your corner, say I know. In fact, I can say you phone put there. I can say ye jar battle. We say your crying yet, ye be behind yet. I had so you have sooner. Says ya, Coco, more now, Cotimba, be beer, say you are near Fluco, and so you hungry. Uncle Ponquan, he did have a year for fee. I can't hear the atom. Ah, they remember Macanter Bam Pain for and say a strong one, your crying yet. So you are some panna yet, Ilia. Yes, strong one, your crying yet. Oh, my, said the Bayer, and so you're being a hunter no more, so one tomo. Sapa pepper. So that's the Asampana yet, Jabosso stretch in the western north region. We have our correspondent there, Stanley Boydi. He's on the line. He will help us appreciate this matter better. Good morning, Stanley. Good morning. Thank you so much for being with us. Can you tell us a bit about this specific area? All right. Um, the Bentima in Katiaso area is in the Jaboso constituency of the Western North region. Mm -hmm. And then this particular road that we are talking about is a 38 kilometer stretch from Bentima Junction to Sefi Ejofia. Mm -hmm. And this road has gone through so many processes and yet um, it is in the same state, deplorable state. Um, first of all, the road was awarded to a contract in 2011 and uh, during the present mills regime but this road was not con constructed and then for a second time it was awarded to midwest construction limited in 2014. Mm -hmm. however it was abrogated in 2017 when the npt um took power and then the the, the auditors claimed that comparing the money spent by the contractor to the kind of work or the the work done shows that the contractor was not someone who would be able to execute the project mm. and so it was re-awarded on 20th december um, 2020. But however the road was delayed the construction of the road was delayed again due to the covid 19 pandemic and the road that we are talking about is a road that serves the nations very well in terms of um timber uh, cocoa and food crops it's not it, the road is a road that is very busy and then the, the people there suffer a lot they suffer a lot speaking to some of the residents sometimes if somebody is in labor and they have to transport the person to hospital it is not easy for the people there at all so the people there are crying to the government to um ensure that the the construction work is uh, set up so that the the road can be more trouble for them Okay, so you talked about this area contributing timber and other cash crops to the nation. What are some of the stories you hear from the truck drivers, the farmers, the people of that area about how difficult life is because of the nature of the road? Um, pardon me, please. I didn't hear the question. The nature of the road, ha okay. what, what are some of the stories you hear from the truck drivers who have to come there, uh, pick up the timber, pick up the cash crops, and have to deal with their trucks breaking down? Yes, a lot of them complain a lot. Apart from the fact that going there, the fares that they charge the passengers are uh, extra high, the, the road, the nature of the road, causes harm to their vehicles. The vehicles break down uh, very often. 
So sometimes when they are traveling there, they have to spend nights on the road and continue their journey the next morning upon calling a fitter or a mechanic to come and fix their car for them. So they, they complain a lot. They complain a lot. What about the farmers in that area? What, what do they also say? The farmers, they are fed up of government promises and then contractors coming in here and there. And even from the camp of the Nananum, the Midwest Construction Limited is um, a Ghanaian company and then they even cried out to the president that they don't want any local contractor on the road again. So uh, that also contributed to the abrogation of the contract. And now it's an Israeli company, um, Amandi, Amandi, that are on the road now. So they have started the construction from Benjamin Junction, and now they are at um, a place called Sayano. Hmm. So from what you're saying, life at Asampanaya Drabosu Stretch must be very difficult. What are the young people saying? What kind of jobs are available for them? The young people, they, they are not, because they are, uh, deprived of developmental projects in the area, the main occup occupation there is uh, farming, cocoa farming, and then um, other petty trading activities that they engage. And others too, they engage in the illegal money, the galante. It is something that is uh, very common here. So the, the, because of the road, are they able to see perhaps companies are not coming in to develop there? What are some of the things that the community would have if this road had been fixed by now? Actually, they, they are saying that all the activities are at a standstill because sometimes it becomes difficult for them to even um, transport their farm produce to the markets that they have available there. So they, they are complaining a lot. They are fed up. Some are even saying they will not vote again because any government that can't deceive them and their life has become a standstill. They are not seeing any development in the area. And I describe that road as a virgin road. It has never seen any um, construction, major construction um, projects there. So it's one of the virgin roads we have in the West North region. Okay. What, what's the feedback you've received from some of the leaders of the community? We know we'll talk to the chief soon. But we've been trying to reach the D.C., for instance, and she's not really complying with us. Uh, does it look like this is something that's urgent on their agenda? Yeah, from the camp of the chiefs and the elders, they are now convinced um, because um, the Nanado adhered to their plea to change the contractor and bring a foreigner to construct the route. Now they are convinced that uh, once Nanado has brought... Um, a foreigner to construct the route, they, they have confidence in a contractor that will be able to uh, fix the route for them. Okay, what about the DC and, and, and the others in the area, the assembly man? Uh, actually, most of them, if you, you are asking of them, they don't uh, tend up to speak to you. They, they, they refuse to speak to the media concerning such issues because it is very sensitive to the people. And um, if you say something that is not in favor of the people, it is going to create problems for you as well. Okay, so we talked about the health impact. You mentioned some women struggle to even get access to hospitals because of this road. What other stories have you heard? Oh, um, other stories include accidents. And then people, when they travel from the place and come back, they fall sick, and then they cannot continue with their work the next day, and a whole lot of complaints coming out from the area. Okay. Thank you very much, Stanley Bordi, for helping us really understand what's happening at the Asempanaye Drabosu stretch. We will get the chief on the line soon to talk to him to see what leaders of the community have been trying to do to fix this problem. So this is an area in the Western North region. They contribute timber to the nation. They contribute cocoa to the nation. They contribute other crops to our national development. But as you see there from the video the young man sent in, they can't even be productive. Transporting materials from one point to the next has become impossible because there's no way you can go on that road 
without your truck breaking down. And if your truck breaks down, that means you've lost productive hours for the entire day because you now have to figure out how to get your truck off this road. Not only is this making life difficult for the men in the area, the young people who are only exposed to farming find it difficult working in such an environment. Can you imagine the type of developments that will move into this Asempanaya Drabuso stretch that has all these rich materials if we were able to fix this road? If you are watching us from a similar community with an issue that you absolutely want government to solve for you, just use the hashtag Breakfast Daily and the WhatsApp line 0550-585832 for us to hear what you're going through. The irony in all of this is that this year is supposed to be the year of roads. This is supposed to be the year where we don't hear stories of bad roads, of women not being able to make it to the hospital because they got stuck on the road or because cars simply refused to go on their roads. This was be the year that we shouldn't be hearing children are spending hours to get to school because of the nature of their roads. But unfortunately, in the Western North regions, particularly in the Asempanaye Drabuso stretch, this is their reality. We have Nanakwa Asante Bidiato II on the line. He's the chief of Asempanaye Drabuso District. Good morning, Nana. Good morning. Yeah. Thank you so much for being with us. Okay. Can you please tell us a bit about the problems your people are facing? Well, uh, thank you so much. I extend my business to all the listeners. Even the answer can see. Our major problem is our group from the Jama barrier to Asampane and then from Asampane to Adjufa Junction. It is very, very deplorable. It is a deplorable thing that we can't do anything about. It was coming and moving, and government upon government. Nobody made an attempt to even rescue that situation for us. That part of the road has been uh, I'm robbing camp, accident, even pregnant women are also dying on the road because of the bad state of the road. Belief. We are appealing to the government. We are on the on the road. At the moment, they are on the on the road working. The contractors on the road working. But the deplorable part of the whole issue is from my barrier to Asampane. That place is west. It's west. If you look at the stage of the tracks there, you can really know that what I'm saying is true. Western North, we are the leading producer of cocoa, one, timber, gold. We have all the mineral resources at the, the Western North, but we are left behind, especially on our roof. So we are appealing to the government to come into our aid. And then we, we have to also enjoy part of the national kit. So what I'm saying is, if you look at the track, it's very, very bad. Look at the cash crop, the leading cash crop in the country. It has fallen on the mud. What are we doing? So I don't want to prolong much about that. We are appealing to the government to come to our aid, as I said. I am continuing. Nana, how long has this problem been with the Asempanaya community? Since Akuswa uh, President uh, Kopo's time, Tanu Namoria, that is how we do this. Even as I'm saying now, if you look, look at the scene at the moment, we, we think it's now okay. But formally, it was a very bad thing. We, can, we have to shoot all the way from Asempane even to Asainos. Pregnant women, as I'm saying, if a woman is pregnant and getting to labor, we have to get a car to 
uh, Atam. The only hospital is Atam. So when you reach Atam place, you have to get down and then you carry the, the lady. But told me, before you reach at the point of where a car is, then the lady, the baby, are all gone. Then they are dead. So in fact, we have been facing this problem quite a long time. You see? But when I'm not advocate, I see quite recently, he came and cut a sword there. Sword was cutting. And the contractors who are now on it. But they should speed up. And then race to the particular place where this accident happened. That is my main thing. Right? Yes. How do you feel seeing other places being developed, roads being worked on, and this Asempaneye Drabosu district that contributes so much to our national development seems to have been forgotten? Well, I can't hear you properly. How do you feel that you, the people, your farmers, your people contribute so much to our growth, yet it looks as though your problems are not being solved? Well, we've been appealing to the district chief executive, member of parliament. They are, they are, they are doing well anyway. I can't say, I can't condemn their, their way. But still, it's a standstill. It's still standstill. Because that place needs a proper contractor. As for the grading, it will never happen. It needs a special contractor. So now I've seen some Israel contractors on the, on the road. They started from Benjamin Junction. They are going down there. But particularly where the track is lying down is the most west area. It's west. So they should go there and rescue that situation for us. We are appealing to the government and even the, the way contractors that we should go there and rescue the situation. Other than that, whatever track is coming, it, it, there is a very small hole somewhere there. He didn't take care. If this car has been in the hole, I tell you, none of the cocoa bees could have even come out. Hmm. You see, none of them. So we are appealing to them to come into our aid and then solve this particular problem for us. That is our major problem. But I know there are contractors on it, so we can't condemn anyone at the moment. Yes. We are on it. It's ongoing. Mm -hmm. ongoing yeah. so Nana, that particular place is the western place hello nana hello please how will life be improved once the road is fixed for the women for the farmers for the youth of 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 the community well uh, what i want uh, my advice to them is in fact they have to exercise this because there are contractors on the roof. So at times, even full staff coming to a time is also a problem. But what I'm saying is we should be patient and wait for whatever is coming. Because it is an election year, and we have to exercise patience. No violence, nothing. We have to advise our children and then even ourselves. If you go to vote, can we leave the place to your house? and look at what is going on. We don't want fighting. We don't want anything that will disturb any of us over there. Thank you very much, Nana Kwa Asantibedi to the second for speaking to us. He's the chief of Asempaneye Draboso district. And as you can see there, um, that district, Asempaneye Draboso district, contributes cocoa to the nation they contribute timber to the nation. They contribute other forms of cash crops to our national development. But the roads have been like this since President Kofor's time. We've gone through several presidents. Kofor, we've had Professor Atta Mills, we've had Mahama, we've had now Nanatu Dankwa Kofado. And it seems as though the nation has not prioritized this road. What that means is it's not just the community that's been deprived of development, the entire nation. As you can see there, if a truck full of cocoa breaks down, it won't get to its destination on time. 
Meanwhile, we are competing with countries like Ivory Coast and others who may not have this problem. So they get more from their yield. So when we talk about development as a nation, it's not just adding value to the product, it's even in fixing our transport system. How quickly can you get a product from point A to point B? And how will that increase your revenue? So fixing this issue for the people is not just for the, the specific communities, for our own self-interest. We tried very hard to reach out to Martha Kweche, who is the DCE for the municipality, the Sampaneye Jaboso district. She refused to talk to us. She has declined speaking on air to the people of her community, even though this is something that is worrying them. We hope that the government is watching and they would prioritize this particular Asempanaya district and help them fix their roads. There's absolutely no reason why women should die, babies should die because of roads. Again, if you have any problem in your community that has been neglected by policymakers, just take out your phone and record an up to one minute video. Send that video to us via the email hello, Mr. President TV at gmail.com. You can also WhatsApp it to us via our WhatsApp line 0550585832. If you don't have a camera phone, don't worry. Text us exactly what you are experiencing. Send that text message to our email hello, Mr. President TV at gmail.com or WhatsApp it to us via the number 0550-585832. And every Wednesday, we will show the entire nation and the world what you are experiencing within your community and call on to policymakers who have failed you to answer to why they've not done right by you. Thank you again for watching Breakfast Daily. If you missed any segment of the show, you know what to do. Head on over to our YouTube page, CityTube. Comment, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. My name is Jifa Ekea Ametam. Hi there. We hope you enjoyed the show. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share with your friends. This is Breakfast Daily on City TV. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30 a.m. to 10. Join us for breakfast daily only on City TV.